ओके गुड आफ्टरनून लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन बिफोर वी बिगिन आवर शो दिस आफ्टरनून लेट अस बिगिन विद द प्रेयर्स लेट अस पुट आवर सेल्फ इन द होली प्रेजेंस ऑफ गॉड Illumine party, SPD, SPD, Santi, Amen. Oracio in Kerala against COVID-19. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them, that eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace and the strength time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. We ask all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son. Lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We pray for protection, O Holy Mother of God, to not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, help us defeat. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Canusod, pray for us. Prayer for the protection of hands and inclusion simply. God our Father, we implore you to ask for the enlightenment and rescue and the present success of the organization Hands and Inclusion Philippines. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from false sense of power and deliver us to the lesser prevents that comes from the devil. Keep us in quoting God first, whatever is the religion of their course means, including the founder, of being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQA+, people who use their gender, ethnic groups, and all of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge, conspiracy, and violence which might affect the people they are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his smart team to be enlightened to see the light behind the false doctrine and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe, and open the eyes to the truth of the privacy hold. Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan, and may he stop whatever private he's holding. Please allow us to know ourselves as child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by hands and inclusion activities to repent from the sins they are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false accusations made by either them or any enemy they encounter. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong things. In your eyes, the organization lives. This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, help us to seek. Pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Caluso, pray for us. Saint Claire of Montefalco, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist. Pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. Saint Monica, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Augustine, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Benedict, Pope Saint Is the Tenth, and Pope Saint John Paul the Second, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoing. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the heart of everyone, all organizations, and all the people who formerly worked with the organization who made terrible mistakes, and those the people who took part in the conspiracy, 
So also not use anyone and hands in inclusion. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In nomine Patri, et Fili, et Spiriti, Santi. Amen. Ang mga pananaw at opinyon ng pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pangunahing posisyon o pahayag ng pamumunuan ng organisasyon ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Editorial. Today is Wednesday, January 27, 2021. I'm your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi. We're broadcasting simultaneously on Inclu Radio and Hansen Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. Let us begin with our verse for today from 1 Peter Chapter 4, verse 1. Dear friends, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence before God and receive from Him anything we ask because we keep His commands and do what pleases Him. We will begin our topic proper in just a moment. We will have some commercials first. Now please. Thank you. 
Welcome back to editorial. This afternoon, we will discuss about this. Hope for a better 2021. As 2020 ended, people held their breath. With high hopes that after hitting rock bottom in a terrible year, there is no other way to go up but in 2021. From the volcanic eruption to corruption scandals to typhoons, torrential flooding and the calamitous pandemic, 2020 has been a year of crisis and this is considered as the year that we are on a state of turmoil because of a lot of events that happened in our country from Taal volcano eruption, the typhoons, the eruption scandals, the shutdown of the Philippines' largest broadcaster, ABS-CBN, and the ongoing pandemic. Analysts have to keep revising downward the unprecedented economic recession figures. Half a million uh, Filipinos working overseas lost their jobs and were forced to return home to continuing joblessness. The country is now deep in debt as the government continued to dole out assistance or what we call as social amelioration program or ayuda and then also the tupad sa do from dole the 8k with the much reduced revenue base to tide over the still growing number of needy people driven to unemployment and impoverishment by the pandemic worldwide it was a year of seeming helplessness against an unseen killer Depression and calls for help on suicide prevention had been spiked when the year ended on a note of hope as scientists with unprecedented speed and backed by enormous resources from both government and the private sector released an antidote to the virus pestilence. So going back, also in 2020 here, enhancing inclusion, it's also been considered a year we're on the tumult or difficult year. Why? Because enhancing inclusion with a lot of things happened last 2020. Aside from the first um, seminar, where that a lot of things happened in our his, we had some good things and bad things happen in enhancing inclusion for 2020. First, we just had our temporary shutdown last June 6, 2020. And also, uh, we had a lot of wrongdoings like uh, during the interview with the late PKAE founder, Dr. Toto de la Cruz, the political discussion with my best friend, Gino Ignacio. And of course, we had some good things happening like the wedding of Valbaria and David Mitchell, the unveiling of the merchandise, the three songs, One Inclusion Nation, Alaala na Inclusion, and One Inclusion Forever. And of course, and we also had a lot of wrongdoings. That's why we experienced that for us, to be honest, 2020 is also been not only the year of crisis, but also it's a difficult, highly disruptive year. This led to a lot that the COVID-19 pandemic brought everyday lives in the world to a halt. So, so, so helplessness is so very against an unseen killer. Why? Because some people are being overwhelmed with the current situation, but uh, the, the government throughout the world says that our health and safety is of utmost importance to us. So this is because uh, they, they, we have an antidote to the viral pestilence. Vaccination against COVID-19 is underway in several countries. With Filipinos working as medical frontliners abroad, the first recipients, and also the rest of the pop people. In our country, people can only hope with the recent controversy with Pfizer, whose vaccine was the first in the world to get emergency use authorization from drug regulators. Imparted precious lessons to the government about the need for an efficient response to this public health crisis. Health and economic recovery from the pandemic will depend heavily on the vaccines. The country cannot afford to mess up its response. Analysts are already warning that the country faces the process of lagging behind most of our neighbors in recovery, both in terms of the health and the economy. And there is this year, 2021, we need to prove them wrong. And as we also prepare ourselves for this 
new normal. And it will take several years before the COVID-19 pandemic comes to an end. We need sana ipagdasal na maging coronavirus free and ang ating bansa at ng mundo at sana maghanda na tayo sa bagong normal sa ating buhay. Lalo na sa Hansen Inclusion dahil malapit na ang ating ikaapat na anniversaryo natin sa Marso. At also... And also, uh, as we also get ready for ourselves to prepare for us for this new normal. As we prepare to the post-pandemic era, and it will take several years before we actually go back to the pre-pandemic life. As the As we prepare for our life this year, and as we prepare for the vaccines that it will come into the country and into our world as well. Vaccines are now rolled out by some parts of the world. This certainly in the next couple of months will be challenging And probably we will have a virus-free life and some things may not return to how they were before just to the pre-pandemic life. So, it is, it, if it is, we'll see a decline of the COVID-19 cases perhaps as early as spring 2021 or we continue to lower the cases. So, The social and economic effects of this pandemic and its hope for 2021 will probably be the long-lasting too. Perhaps that will never return to what it was just before the pandemic. But it's up to us we can save for being prepared for future pandemics. So that is why hope for a better 2021 is very important. Why? So hope for a better 2021 This is the this is the time of this is the year of hope, healing, and recovery. And also, as we prepare ourselves for this new normal in our lives, until the vaccines for the COVID nineteen are discovered, it's um. Uh, It is the time for um, for the for the economy to rebound, and it will take several years when the vaccines are coming, and it will take several years before we actually go back to the old normal, or which is what we call as the pre-pandemic life. And as bunsod sa sa pagdating. At magiging masaya ngayong taong 2021. At dahil natapos ang taong 2020, it, ang 2020 ay pinakamahirap na taon. Sinimula lang ito, bi, bi, ang kaunang pangyayari ay ang pagputok pag, ng bukang taal at ang mga Kontrobersiya sa ating lipunan, ang pagsasara ng ABS-CBN at binasuran ng prangkisa, ang bunsod ng COVID-19 pandemic na nagpapahirap sa marami at kumitil na ng mga buhay. At dahil dito, ang ekonomiya ay, ay tumigil pansamantala, sinara muna ang mga paliparan at haggan at ano ang mga negosyo at ang mga paaralan at ang mga komersyal na sen- sentro ng mga komersyal, kagaya ng mga malls. At dito sa Hansen Inclusion, noong taong David Dalawampu, nag, uh, nagkaranas kami ng pansamantalang pagsasara noong Hunyo sa East 2020 at ang mga iba pa mga pangyayari sa buhay natin noong 2020. Bilang paganda sa taong 2021 at nagsimula na to bagong taon na ito, ang 
ito ay binipaghanda sa bagong normal sa ating buhay hanggat pag ando na ang bakuna kontra COVID-19. And there is so much hope, so much expectation for 2021 to be a great year, ladies and gentlemen. So as we prepare ourselves for this new normal in our lives, as we also prepare for the vaccines that it will come into the country, into the community, we will have much hope and we continue for us to Make 2021 a great year for all. Sana ngayon taon, uh, iwa, uh, kailangan natin to ipagdasan ninyo sa ano mga rehinyo na sana matapos ang pandemya na ito. And also, And also, uh, as 20, uh, 2021 will also be considered as the great hope, as based by the WHO. And also, why? It's because the pandemic is triggered as the fastest and most wide-reaching response to a global health emergency in human history. Countries began to reunite vaccines, and vaccines offer great hope to turn the tide of the pandemic. And this means that we ended 2020 with a high note, and May 2021 be a year of hope. Okay. It's now time for some announcements. Okay. For the hands and inclusion t-shirts, for the white color t-shirts, the small size is 430, medium is 440, large is 450, XL is 460 with additional 50 pesos with text at the back. For the black color t-shirts of hands and inclusion, small is 450, medium is 460, Large is 470 and X is 480 with additional 50 pesos with tax at the back. For the tote bags of hats and inclusion, the small size is 220, medium is 240, large is 260 with additional 50 pesos with tax at the back. For the hands and inclusion stickers, the we include are yes, 250 pesos. In the EB ko ang mga PINOY EWDs, 150 pesos. Hand to inclusion, 150 pesos. Our mode of payment can be done via GCash and our PayMaya on this number flashed in your screen, 0917-701-9684. That's 0917-701-9684. To be delivered to you in your home steps via TalkTalk and NCR. Nala Move, Go Go Express, Grab, and Mr. Speedy Philippines in areas in, in, located in NCR, Cavite, Rizal, Laguna, and Bulacan. Outside of these areas will be delivered to you via LBC. For our donations for hands and inclusion, you may do so via GCash or PayMaya on this number flashed in your screen. That's 0917-701-9684. That's 0917-701-9684. You may also want to follow us on our social media pages and our YouTube channels of Hands and Inclusion. For Facebook, Hands and Inclusion page, Twitter, HNI Philippines, Instagram and WordPress, Hands and Inclusion PH, Kumu, HNI Philippines, and our YouTube channel, Hands and Inclusion Philippines. In addition, you may want to uh, follow 
the related associated pages of Hans Inclusion via Facebook and two YouTube channels. For Facebook, we have Inclu Radio, Inclu Sports, Inclu Nihan, the Hans and Inclusion online shop, Inclu Gaming, Howl and Inclusion, and soon the Magpayo Type Inclusion Facebook page. And for our YouTube channel, we have Inco Gaming and Kawala Inclusion. Apart from your patience and understanding, we ask for your help and prayers for the anticipated return of Hanson Inclusion in the future as a formal organization. As we also prepare for the fourth anniversary this coming March, especially. Hining ko po bukod pa saying mali maliban po sa ating hiniling ko po ang inyong uh, pasensya at ang inyong pangunawa at ang inyong mga panalangin at tulong na sana ipagbalik sana bumalik na ang hands and inclusion bilang isang formal na organisasyon at sana maging coronavirus free ang buong mundo at ang ating bansa lalo na ang paghahanda para sa ikaapat na anibersaryo ng Hansen Inclusion ngayong Marso 8 ta ngayong taon. Coming up later on the inclusive report, uh, we will discuss about camouflage and autism. We will discuss that later on the inclusive report later at 10.20 p.m. hosted by our president and founder, Roylan Marlang on Inclorajo. Okay, it's now time for some uh, shout outs to my fellow Hanson Inclusion members and good afternoon to my family. Good afternoon. Hi! And also to my friends in Best Buddies Benil and also in my high school and college friends. Good afternoon. And also to those who are watching, it may be a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening wherever you are in the world. And also, uh, please continue to support Hands and Inclusion. And also, please include us. And also, uh, as we also prepare for the fourth anniversary of Hands and Inclusion, this coming March, I urge you guys to continue supporting us and also to, to include us, especially with your prayers. Okay, it's now time for our public service. Okay, for first first things first. 
As of our clock in the afternoon today, the Department of Health confirmed the number of cases of coronavirus disease 2019 into the Philippines. 32,384 active cases, 475,542 recoveries, 10,481 deaths, with the overall total of 518,407. 1,428 are the number of positive, out of 25,778 number to tested. 5.5% are positive. The top five cities and provinces that have the highest cases as of today, we have uh, Baguio City, 121, Cebu City, 121, Davao City, 102, Quezon City, 87, Pangasinan, 81. 60% available spots for ICU beds. 65% available spots for isolation beds. 73% available spots percent available slots for ward beds and 79 percent available slots for ventilators 93.8 are mild with asymptomatic cases 84.5 percent are mild 9.2 percent are symptomatic 3.4 percent critical 2.4 percent severe and 0.48 percent moderate And also for our weather forecast for tonight until tomorrow morning. The tail end of frontal system shear line is affecting the eastern sections of southern Luzon and Visayas. Northeast monsoon affecting the rest of Luzon. Because of this, we call region and eastern Visayas, the cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms. Us by the tail end of frontal system shear line. NCR, Cagayan Valley, Cordillera, and is the region Central Luzon and Calabarzon will have cloudy skies with rains caused by the northeast monsoon. The rest of the zone will have partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated light rains caused by the northeast monsoon. The rest of the country will have partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers and thunderstorms caused by localized thunderstorms. Moderate to strong winds coming from the northeast will prevail over the northern and eastern sections of the zone. Light to moderate winds coming from the northeast will prevail over the rest of the country. Coastal waters along the northern and eastern sections of the zone will be moderate to rough. Coastal waters along the rest of the archipelago will be slight to moderate. Our temperature for today is 24.0 degrees Celsius to 29.2 degrees Celsius. Sunset today is at 5.53 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 6.25 a.m. Um, as of today, we have some good news. First, we have no gale warning. Um, second, we have no tropical cyclones or low pressure areas that are easily threatening the Philippine area of responsibility. In the next three to five days. Okay. Okay. Also, one last thing. One last thing. One last thing. If you want to um, wait, for Fernando Go Junior, if you want to order some uh customized T-shirt, you need. PM Sir Hernando Go Jr. If you want to have a personalized Valentine's card, PM is the key to Chris Trinidad. Hmm. 
and the king. And uh, to our birthday celebrants, Francis Alomar and Leah Pineda, happy birthday. And to those who are celebrating their birthdays today, happy birthday. To those who are celebrating their uh, wedding anniversaries, happy wedding anniversaries. And also to those who got sick, get well soon. And of course, if, um, and also to those who are watching, maybe a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. Okay, that will be all for for today, for editorial for Wednesday, January 27, 2021. I will be back this coming Saturday and Sunday for the One Inclusion Live weekend and, and on Sunday, editorial. On behalf of the Hanson Inclusion Philippines, Inku Radio, I'm your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi. Thank you. Good afternoon and good evening. God bless us all. Thank you and goodbye. Pagpalain tayo na wano po may kapal. May God bless us all. We include our yes. We at Hands and Inclusion include us and include each other. One Inclusion forever. H and I, God first. And of course, to God be the glory. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. And peace out. Thank you and have a pleasant day ahead of us.